Hi, this video is going to demonstrate the experimental new live poll feature in my Open Math and WAMAP. The idea behind this feature is similar to that of clickers, you know, those little remote control devices where uh, a presenter teacher would uh, put a poll question up on the projector on, on PowerPoint and then you'd press the button on your clicker and then you could instantly see the results up on the screen. Um, and lately there's been a few web-based tools like Socrative and Cahoots which where students use their cell phones as the input device, but none of them can do math. And so, uh, I hence how this was born. Um, so to explain the setup here, on the right we have the instructor's view and on the left we have two students, uh, two student accounts. Um, there's a few settings at the beginning which um, you mainly want to change depending upon whether you're um, projecting this up on the screen in front of the students or not. Uh, I'm going to pretend like I'm not. Uh, actually, I'm going to just leave the settings alone. Um, and, you know, whether or not you, you want to discuss the results before showing the answers and things like that. But we'll just leave that alone. Um, so let's see what happens when the students connect. So when the students click in, they just see a waiting message. Uh, and then uh, as the instructor, I'm going to click on a question, and there's my preview of the question, which I can hide. Um, I can again, I can show the results live or not. Uh, we'll play around with that here in a second. Uh, and then, when I click as an instructor, when I click Open for Student Input, you'll notice the question instantly pops up on both of those both of the, the students' um, devices or their their screens. Um, and so now the students can go uh, put in their answers. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on here so you can see what happens. Now, the most obvious sort of case here is to use is for multiple choice, sort of an obvious. Um, so I'm going to pick an answer here and submit it. And you'll notice as soon as the student submits the answer, it pops up in the results over on the uh, instructor side. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and pick another one, and I'm hoping that you can tell that I'm just randomly guessing here, so I have no idea if these answers are right or not. Uh, it's set up so that if the students, in the however long you want to allow them to work on this, if, it, this, if they change their minds, they can always resubmit it, uh, and it will um, it'll change the results. Okay, so let's imagine we've given the students as much time as we want to give them. So we're going to go ahead and close the student input which shuts down the questions on their screen. Because I have it set to show the answers, it's going to show the students whether they're right or not. If I had left this unchecked, notice it would only sh just disable the question for the student. So it would just show, show the question disabled. But we want to see the answers here. Uh, and, and both of our students got this question wrong. Oh well. Now, I, note if we decided that we wanted to, you know, give the students a little more practice at this question, what we could do is hit this clear results and generate a new version uh, link here. And what that will do is, um, when I hit open, it's going to go ahead and create a new version, and then we can redo the problem uh, again. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem here. Uh, so this is an equation problem. So this one's going to be a little different uh, in terms of what happens with the student input. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and over on the student side, I'm going to type in, <gasps> oh, let's see, one, two, three, uh, three halves x minus two, uh, and hit submit. And if we show our results here, notice that result pops up there. Now if this other student were to type in exactly the same thing, it will just show up as two results that are the same. If this if this student had put in something that was uh, algebraically equivalent, it would show up as a separate answer. And, and it does this partially because it can often be an interesting discussion point to talk about, oh look at these two different answers that are uh, also th equivalent. Um, Though when we go ahead and close this, it will m show that both of these answers are correct. Uh, if there had been a wrong answer, it would show up um, red. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, this is a drawing question. 
Uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, start our results, our, our poll here. So our first student, let's see, negative 2, 1 half x, so puts in a graph, hit submit. Uh, notice I have one result received now. Let's go ahead and show it. So there's my graph that I just got. And then my other student over here. Now this, this uh, as long as the uh, graph has uh, snap to grid set, in other words, as long as it's the kind of question that can do snapping, um, then the uh, system's smart enough to recognize that these two answers are equivalent, uh, even though the students graphed them differently. Uh, but if we were to send a sex, oops, we got a little bug there. Uh, but if we were to set send a second result, well, okay, well I got a little bug to fix still. Uh, <laughs> but the second answer should show up there. All right, so that's the idea of the live poll feature. Obviously, it is still experimental. There are still some bugs to work out, but the basic gist is there. Um, you know, give it a try with your students. Uh, just keep in mind that it may not work perfectly. Um, something else to be aware of is this does run as an assessment. Um, so whatever the students do, whatever their results are, will get recorded into the gradebook. Um, obviously, if it's a learning tool, you should probably make it not count towards the grade. But if you wanted to have it count, doing it like a quiz or something, uh, that's certainly possible. All right. So that is the live poll.